Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to show you around our latest QTAC Super 6 build. This one's unique to us and it's the first of a kind for us because it has the Odin weapon calf system in it. This was a, a specific requirement for the La Honda Fire Brigade. They asked us if we could provide a truck based on our Super 6 but with the Odin weapon and we delivered it for them. back of the truck, we've got a very similar setup to the other Super 6s that we've built. CPI steps, full wheel and lighting package, CPI eye zone hooks, which can also uh, double as a grab handle. The M6s up top, those are the M6Vs, and so they have a, a down light as well, a scene light, and that they're just a slick setup for having additional lighting in the back of the truck as, long with, uh, as well as your emergency lighting. We've got a traffic advisor, four point RVS camera system, and a very capable Odin weapon system. door here is for the hose rail access. We've got a smooth bore nozzle and the hose set up specifically for the calf unit. Got the electric Hane hose rail, ROM doors, the FRC tank vision lights. This compartment will sometimes feature a full transverse pass-through. We couldn't do that on this build because of the size of the tank and the, and the Odin foam system. Uh, we just didn't have the room to move that back and have the pass-through so we've got a solid compartment here. Uh, the Kusmal auto charger and inverter is mounted up top, so out of the way, and then the auto charger eject is in the back of the truck, and that's the yellow flip up. Around the front of the truck, we've got what has become a standard bumper for us, which is the Buck Stop extended steel bumper. And we do slight modifications like adding hinges to the, the, uh, the doors here, and we add a door also and a drain pan for the, the 25 feet of inch and a half pre connect. So we've got that in this back panel. This is access for the winch. And then we add in some uh, off-road lighting. This is Tom these are the Tomar TRX series three-inch lights. And then you've also got your valve here for the pre-connect. So it's very, uh, a very compact, tight package that's easy to access and easy to use. We've got the Wheelan Liberty light bar up top that's fully loaded with takedowns, alleys, and warning lights. We've also got the uh, Tomar off-road series light bar up on the top of the boxes. That's just giving additional illumination at night. Pioneer series scene lighting on the side, super powerful, and we've got those mounted on a flange that we weld into the boxes to make sure that we have adequate down lighting as well. These are identical compartments to the other side, uh, dry deck in the bottom of the floors, Zola toned interiors with interior uh, venting as well. One thing we do in every truck build is add these access panels into these compartments. That's in case you need to get in and service the pump area. Any of the components in there that need preventative maintenance done or regular maintenance, it's really easy to take this shelf out, take this panel off, and then you've got access, easy access into the back of the, of the pump system. There's also 110 in each compartment, and that's working off the Coos Small Inverter. Thank you for tuning in to this QTAC Academy, the overview of the Bahanda Fire Brigade QTAC Super 6 with the Darley Odin Weapon Calf System. Give us a like and subscribe if you like what we're doing. Tune in next time, we will see you soon.